Hey, New Hope, I wanted to bring you a quick word of encouragement. I hope you're doing well, that you and your family are staying healthy, that you're growing in your faith and your commitment to Jesus. Um, through all that we're going through, um, I know that there is some good things that are coming out of this. One of the things that I think that is a good thing is that for the majority of us, life has slowed down, the pace of life has slowed down. Uh, before the season of life that we're in, um, we were, a lot of people were, were running life at like this breakneck speed, um, just jam-packed schedules. Um, There's so much to do with work, school, projects at home, groups that you're a part of, uh, so many things to the point that maybe you complained there wasn't enough hours in the day. And now we're in the middle of the season of life and uh, things have slowed down tremendously for a majority of people. Um, there's a lot of more time that we think is in our day to be able to do what we maybe want to do. A lot of you, maybe you're working from home or school has started up online at home. So we're in this different rhythm and pace of life. There's families that before this maybe would have a few meals a week together and now they're having, um, like mine, multiple meals a day together. And it's not a bad thing, it's actually a really good thing. So once this is all over, I'm hopeful that we view time differently. That we don't feel the need that we need to jam pack our schedule so tight that um, there's no margin for error. Um, that this itinerary is, is packed. Um, but that we view time not so much as in hours in a day, but in relationships. So let me give you an example. When my wife and I traveled to Tanzania back in 2018, um, we were there to dedicate water wells in a few different parts of Tanzania. I learned something very valuable. Uh, it was our first day going to a village in the southern part of Tanzania, and our group was late. Um, like not just a little bit late, like really late. Um, a couple hours late and I was so worried um, I was frustrated because if you know me I like to be timely um, to be there when something is supposed to start I was worried that the people would be upset that maybe they wouldn't be there um, so we we get to this church we get to the where the well is out in this bush village in the southern part of Tanzania and the people were still there and they were, had been sitting there for a couple of hours just waiting for us to arrive. Um, and so they, they were excited. They were happy to see us and that took me by surprise. So afterwards, the missionary, he spoke to us and he said that the people there, they view time differently than we do. Um, not so much in the hours in the day, but in relationships. They weren't so worried that we were late by a few hours, uh, they were excited that we were there and that they got to spend time with us. And that was a, a very valuable lesson to me. Um, so our relationship with Jesus Christ is the most important relationship that we have. And um, spending time with him each day is so vital. You know, Jesus talks to us in John chapter 15 about remaining in him because he is the true vine. And there are some really good fruit that comes out of abiding with Christ. Our relationship with him is so important. Um, our relationship with other people is so important. With our family, our friends, our neighbors. Listen, you and I, we need other people. And other people need you and I. Maybe it's for strengthening or sharpening uh, for wisdom, for help, just for community and for laughter. So many reasons why that we need other people and other people need you and I. And so I want to encourage you to, um, to, to focus on that and to, to learn from what God's Word says. And um, Psalm 90 verse 12, this is a prayer of Moses that he prayed. Psalm 90 verse 12 says, teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days aright, 
that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So the root meaning of the word translated number means to weigh or to measure. So think of it this way. We're to place each day in the balance, like on a scale, and we want to tip the scales in favor of God. We want to um, tip the scales in a way that bring glory to God and, and blessings to other people. So live today like that and every day. Live like that every day. Um, bring glory to God today. Live a life that honors him, that is obedient to him and his word. Um, live with your eyes fixed on him. Live today like Jesus could return. And live today to be a blessing to somebody, to, to several people. Give your full attention to someone today when you're in conversation with them. Uh, listen more than you speak. When you speak, speak life-giving words to someone. Be a blessing to them. Tell someone what Jesus Christ is doing in your life through all that we're going through. I read a quote the other day, and I'll leave you with this before we pray. It said, instead of counting the days, make the days count. Instead of counting the days, make the days count. So make this day count for eternity. Measure this day, number this day, and make it count for eternity for you and for somebody else. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you love us and you're so faithful. Would you give us a heart of wisdom to number our days? We're, we're so grateful for the time that you have given us here, a, a new day to be alive, to grow in our faith and our walk with you. Would you give us wisdom to uh, use it wisely? God, we love you and we thank you that you are our strong tower through all that we're going through. In your powerful name we pray, amen. Amen. Have a great day.